Okay, so here is the big servo that I made. And there's another video where I talk about how I made it. And this is what I did with it. Mounted it to a Cub Cadet 1250 hydrostatic garden tractor. And uh, nice control on the steering. Now the front end is lifted off the ground. It won't steer just with the weight of the engine and the tractor on the front tires sitting still. The uh, Megamoto shield only kicks out 15 amps continuous. I don't know where the current limiting is set on it, but you know, somewhere between 12 and 15 amps it's doing current limiting and that's basically acting as the servo saver, the current limiting is. I was really worried about hooking this up direct. I was worried about, you know, not having the limit set right on the radio, having it wreck something, but uh, it, it works really well even if I ram it to the limits because basically the current limiting takes over. But it's sensitive, it's responsive, it works really well. Uh, the steering wheel, by the way, doesn't do anything on this tractor anymore. Well, this is just a look down inside. This is the, I'm turning the steering wheel and it's moving the, uh, that little st the steering wheel actuator out of the way. Okay, so now I'm moving the servo. So that's the, that's the back side of the servo. Let me point the camera down a little bit more so you can see what's going on basically made a great big servo horn on the inside. So here's the monster servo in action. I have to move the tractor in order to steer. But it does work. This is larger than a standard servo, by the way. This thing moves so easily. The valve for the uh, hydrostatic transmission. You might be wondering why didn't I fasten this to this. The advantage to putting it here would even be that there's a little servo saver here. This. The problem is, is that this metal on this piece is so hard, I can't get a drill bit through it. So that's why I didn't do it. I was going to, but I had to drill into this piece, which is directly connected to the valve. Okay, so I wanted to just mention some problems I've been having with this setup. Um, well, this, this is very sensitive. This this thing the the dead spot is is just right on. I mean, a millimeter in each direction, and it's it's already opening or closing. Um, so there's a little bit of slop in these joints, but it's just enough fudge factor to make the thing actually work halfway. Um, but uh, it's really touchy. It's a little scary actually how sensitive the whole thing is. The the, ra the radio, the uh, High Tech Laser ZX, sorry, High Tech Laser 6 channel radio that I'm using is picking up the uh, spark plug spark and there's a lot of chatter. Um, I'll show you. So it's, it's really hard to find neutral. And, um, yeah, oh yeah, there, you can see it jittering. I'm not touching the sticks on the radio control at all. That's just picking up interference from the spark plug. And uh, it's a little scary. I don't have any way to stop it if I'm not riding on it while I'm controlling it. 
and this thing goes out of control that could be could be pretty bad news so I don't know I I'm so tempted to try it though I probably will anyway okay well it must be crazy because I have no fail-safe on this thing I have no way of stopping it I'd have to run after it and try to jump on it and turn the key off so here's the uh, radio controlled garden tractor project steering works pretty nice the tractor has to be moving but 